snow day at our house. My kid, both kids, take care in school age, are uh, out for snow day. And uh, my wife is working from home in the other room. The dog is currently chewing on a chew toy, trying to choke itself. And I printed out enough TPU treads to finish doing the front and back of my boots. I did that mostly yesterday. Finishing that, and uh, I have a tripod in here, but we're going to see what we can get done. Now, conveniently, I wore these boots out this morning, um, so they've, they've actually seen a little water today. And uh, apparently I stepped in some Play-Doh. But that's been holding up really well. I still need to buff the glue off of it, but I've just been trying to see how the TPU is going to hold up. Um, even on the backs and sides where it's really getting a lot of wear, it's holding up really good. Anyways, so the first thing we're going to do is take these laces. And you're going to take them out. Or do what I'm doing and tuck them in. Because i am got a sneaky suspicion that if this glue gets in these laces, you ain't getting them out. take them out all the way but we're just we're not gonna do that right now until everything's set and then we'll take these out and and, and love on them a little bit all right we got that we got one two three sheets of tread we're gonna take this one have a little higher uh, infill density similar to that one it's already on so we're gonna take some markings Looks like I had cut right along that ridge. I'm just going to take a cheap old kitchen knife and cut along that ridge. And then I'll fit this to it. Uh, just set it underneath it, trace it, and cut it out rough, just a little bigger than what it needs to be with scissors. Which are nothing fancy. Walmart DuraSharps or something. And then we'll apply glue to both surfaces and uh, we'll let that sit. I may go ahead and pull the fronts off. I don't know yet. But we're definitely going to do this back. Just do the heel back here at this time. <clears throat> and then we'll look at what it's going to be like to do the fronts. Um, so that's going to have to be cut. I don't, I don't want to do too much angle. Like I, I need to cut it like right there there's a you know it's got a sweeping curve but i don't want anything that's going to compound to that curve so maybe just on the very just very very back edge of that uh oval would be a good spot and then i'm going to have to actually cut <coughs> and leave some of the old rubber on the front so should be fun
All right, so this is the very rough cut boot. I'm really not gonna smooth it out much that time, this time, it really didn't have as much damage. We're gonna get this fitted to it. Just uh, set it like that and see if a uh, marker will even show up. So a little bit on the outer edge, maybe eighth, three sixteenths from the outer line with the scissors. Oh. I'm gonna do this one handed. taping put the tape underneath it so it's sticking to here but with some on either edge <clears throat> and then we'll just adhere it to here and somehow I spilled the shoelaces back up now this video is rough um, just trying to yeah everything out in the shop everything I do everything with so this is the web stick uh, trim cement that I couldn't find last time. It's made by a company called Crest. It is, I don't know how old it is. Old, <clears throat> adjustable spray pattern. I'm gonna hit both of these real hard and then start taping. I'll be right back. Right, we're glued. I'll start taping this stuff down. I'm gonna see if I can Put the uh, phone in my pocket so you can see a little bit of what we're doing. Okay, so it's taped. I'm not going to wear it the rest of the day because uh, it's wet outside. I don't think it'll work. But uh, it is going to sit here and dry. Along with the glue for the furniture I've been repairing all day. Uh, hopefully that'll bring some comfort and some traction. Because I'm not going to attack the fronts right now. Because I'm lazy and I want to catch it on a decent day. But thanks for watching and please subscribe.